So your question was, <coughs> if there is life of today. Yes, I, uh, may I uh, uh, say a few words about it? Of course. You see, uh, I want to put this question to you, because all religions, as far as I know, agree and accept a life after death. Of course, Buddhism and Hinduism, they accept not one life, but many lives before this birth and after this death. That is Hindu and Buddhist uh, uh, teaching. But uh, as far as I know, uh, Christianity at least accepts one life after death, either in hell or heaven. Yes. And, and the Muslims too. Muslims too. Yes. And uh, I don't know about others very much, but these two, three religions, they accept life after that. I don't, I think Zoroastrianism accepts it. And uh, of course, in, except Buddhism, in all those religions, there is soul, self, Atman, which is unchanging, everlasting, permanent substance in man which transmigrates or is uh, reincarnated. Buddhism does not accept a self, Atman or soul or ego which is permanent, eternal, everlasting, unchanging. But Buddhism accepts man is composed of five aggregates, physical and uh, <coughs> as it is, if we put in brief, as the Buddhist terms say, name and form. Name and form. That you use very often. Yes. Name and form. That yes. is, name means mental qualities and form is the physical body. But these are all energies according to Buddhism, forces. And uh, according to Buddhism, what you call death is non-functioning of the body. Yes. But that non-functioning of the body does not mean the non-functioning functioning of all other qualities and forces like uh, desire, will to become, to become more and more and all that. So as long as man is imperfect, that means if he had not seen the truth, once one sees the truth, <coughs> he is perfect and there is no desire for becoming, because it is, there is nothing to become for him. And when man is imperfect, he has always desire, will, as you suggested this morning, time to become more, become more perfect and things like that. So, uh, the rebirth is there for him, because he is not perfect. But whatever it may be, according to Buddhism, it is not one unchanging substance that goes off, but it is the cause and effect, just as today we live, Buddha says, every moment we are dead and reborn. And so, uh, it is, Buddhism, it is wrong to say pre-incarnation, because there is nothing to incarnate. Uh, then transmigration also is not a good term. And we use now as rebirth, which is not quite correct, because in the Buddhist term it is punarbhava, is the Pali punarbhava, that means uh, becoming again, re-becoming. It is called re-becoming. That is continuity of re-becoming, un unbroken continuity. That is the Buddhist attitude. The question is asked in Buddhist very often in the Milinda Panya and many texts, is, the, is it the same person or another one? Answer is Buddhist. The traditional and classical answer is Nachaso, Nachani. Neither he nor another. Uh, that is the answer, neither he nor another. That is the continuity process. It is given a child is grown up to be a man of fifty. Is he the same child or another one? It is neither same child nor another one. In the same way it is nacha so nacha no, neither he nor another. That is the Buddhist attitude to rebirth. And uh, now I would like to know what is your attitude and what is your interpretation?
So could we <coughs> take a journey together a little bit? Yes. Uh, you mean uh, you want me to answer or...? No, no, no. no. Journey together. Yes. I investigating this case. Yes. Would you say that all humanity, whether a human being lives in America, Russia or India or Europe, is caught in sorrow, conflict, strife, guilt, great sense of misery, loneliness, unhappiness, confusion. That's the common lot of all men, men, men throughout the world. Yes. Yes. That is, the consciousness of man, not super-consciousness or some other kind of consciousness, but the ordinary consciousness of man, is the content of all this. Could you recite it, please? That man, human being, I won't say man, because there are a lot of girls here too. <laughs> that human beings, right throughout the world, have the same psychological phenomenon. Outwardly way they might differ tall, short, dark, and so on. But psychologically they are, they are greatly similar. So one can say, you are the world. Would you? Entirely. Would you agree yes, to that, sir? You are the world, and the world is you. Right, sir? If there isn't, let's talk about it. Yes, yes. Uh, in a sense. Not in a sense, I want to come. It is yeah. not partially, it is so. <clears throat> You were born in Ceylon, <coughs> he was born in India, another born in America or in Europe or including in this island, England. Outwardly, one's culture, one's tradition, one's climate, food, all that may vary. But inwardly, we have the same sense of guilt. Guilt, not about something, but the feeling of guilt, feeling of anxiety. Right? Yes, rather not guilt, anxiety. I would agree. Huh? I would agree, anxiety, not guilt. Feeling uh, of guilt in a certain form of society. I mean, it's not guilt, not. unless you are insensitive, brutal. You, you, one feels guilty. But that's a minor point. Yes, yes. So it's like perhaps it. more like guilt in the... It's maybe more guilt in the Western tradition yes. and something more like shame in the Eastern, perhaps. Eastern they would translate it differently. But the feeling is the Karma same. Karma or is there lot yes. and so on. So let us... All right, I won't take guilt. Anxiety. Yes, anxiety. Loneliness. Despair, various forms of depression, <clears throat> sorrow, and fear. These are the common lot of man. That's obvious. I mean, so the psychological, con the consciousness of our human be of human beings is its content. Right. The content is all this. So, human beings throughout the world 
or more or less similar, apart from their physical name and form. Would you go? Yes, yes, yes. So one can say, not as a verbal statement, but the fact that we human beings are alike. And so, deeply, you are me. In similarity. That's what I'm saying. Yes. And I am you. Yes, in similarity, yes. Because each person goes through various forms of hell, tragedies, misfortunes. And so, the world, the, the Humanity is one. Right? Would you? Completely. Humanity is one. One. If you see that, accept it, then what is death? Who is it that dies? the name, the form, and also the, the anxiety, the pain, the sorrow, the misery, does, the, does that also die? You follow my point? Oh, yes, yes. I wonder, if, can we discuss this a little? <coughs> that is, from to me, <coughs> the world is actually the me. It's not just words. I am the world, in the sense I may have different physical contours, physical uh, facial differences, and so on, height and color, and so on. But I'm not. We're con- not considering that. Psychologically, we go through extraordinary miseries, tragedies and uglinesses, hurts. So that is the common consciousness of man. Right, sir? That is the stream in which man lives, psychologically. Right? Then what is it to die? If you, if you really accept that or see it as being real, not imagined or idealistic, but it's a fact, if you accept that fact, then what is death? What is it that, I, that dies? My body, the body? the form, the name, the form and the name may be different from you, your man, woman and all the rest of it. So that is the common stream in which mankind lives, with occasional spurts of happiness, rare moments of great joy, rare moments of sense of great beauty, but that, that's part of our, of our life, common life. This vast stream is going on all the, the time, right? It's a, it's a great river, right? Would you you know, I mean, let's discuss, you may disagree completely. So are you saying that in that stream, the whole notion which most people share of some individual consciousness is a complete illusion? I think so. Why does mankind have that, inevitably? Because this part of our education, part of our culture, 
both religiously and boldly, that there is you as you are an individual. You, you know the whole idea of it. And also the word individual is really misapplied, because individual obviously means one who is indivisible. But we are all broken up, so we can hardly call ourselves individuals. We are fragmentary. Hmm? We are fragmentary. We, we are, fra we are fragment, fragmented, broken up. So if, you, if we see that man's consciousness is the consciousness of the world, world of all humanity, of all humanity in that vast river which has no beginning, which is still going on, and you and another is part, part of that stream. I and another die. What happens to all my desires? What happens to all my anxieties, fears, longings? aspirations, the enormous burden of sorrow which I have carried for years, what happens to all that? When the body dies. When the body dies. It commingles with the world stream. It is part of that stream. Exactly. It never was yours at all. Mm -hmm. It's not mine. It's no. part of that stream, which has manifested itself as K. Yes with its form. So don't, this is very drastic what I'm saying compared to all the religions. Now I want to raise the question. Uh, now in that stream there is K. Huh? Wait, wait, uh -huh. no, there is no K. That's the whole point. There is only that stream in which desire, that stream is made up of desire, anxiety, despair, loneliness, all the travail of mankind. That, yes. is, the, that is the river. Uh, as that, well as their opposites. Huh? As well as the opposites of pain and sorrow. It's part of that river. Part of that river. My pleasure, yes. which lasts for a few days, and then I pursue it, and then I cry if I can't get it, yes. and I'm flattered if I get rewarded. So it's part of that vast river. Would you say, sir, that that which we call the individual is a misnomer? Not only a misnomer. Because of our ignorance. It's only, not only a misnomer, I don't think it exists. Because you have a separate name and a bank account. But your consciousness is like somebody else, everybody else. But, sir, if we. Uh, if we uh, say that it doesn't exist at all, uh, no. then we would have to say that humanity also uh, doesn't exist. I uh, know, no. I'm going to go into it. Uh, don't. <laughs> so if we see that, if we not only see it logically, uh, reasonably, factually, it is so. You were born in India and I was born in Europe or in America. <clears throat> we go through the same head, through the same rat race. Yes. So, so may one just to be sure so far that it's clear, there is nothing apart from that in the human... Wait, I'm saying I'm coming to that. In that stream, man has invented gods, Rituals, the saviors, the Virgin Marys, Krishnas, all that. They're all part of that stream. They have invented this. But apart from the inventions, the illusions, is there any other something? Yes. Is there anything spiritual? Is uh, there anything apart from, other than that? Okay. Yes, I understand. Is there anything that's not of time? Of the stream. Is there in the stream 
you're asking, aren't you? Anything which is not man-made, let's call it for the moment. Is that what you're asking? I'm not sure uh, if what you mean is, is there something that is not of the stream in the human mind, consciousness, whatever you want to call it? I, man has invented that there is something... No, non-invention, something real, something... Uh, not in that stream. In that not in that river. No. Um, <laughs> I'm not asking if there's something else in the river. I'm asking if there's something else in man except the river. Nothing. Because there's a... No Atman, no soul, no God, nothing. <laughs> Don't accept it, There's please. an enormous implication in that. There's a tremendous implication. Because if that were so, there would be no end to the stream. That's what, but, no, the man who steps out of, I'm, I don't want to go further, I want to go slowly, step by step. If that is so, that we all, all human beings, their common consciousness is this, made up of this vast river, Right, sir? You may not accept this. No, I am not accepting or rejecting. Uh, I am thinking about it, meditating. What Mary said was a very important point. Yes. Then is I'll there, answer, is, is, we'll answer that presently. Yes. Is, is there no escape? From I'm going to answer it presently. Not escape. We'll or, or, or whatever it may yes. be. That point. But we are considering death, you see. Yes. <coughs> so, that stream is common to all of us. Our consciousness is of that stream. Are you saying, sir, that thought is common to all of us? Because all this is a creation and manifestation yes, of thought. thought. Not only creation of thought, but creation of the earth. Thought which has created illusions. And the operation of those illusions. And the operation of those illusions. Christian, Buddhist, Hindu, Muslim, British, French, Russian, various ideologies. All that is part of this truth. May I ask, sir, is it a case of thought as it is here with us now and functions as it does, which has created these illusions, or is it that mind as a universal constituent, as a universal factor, in the process of uh, thinking through what we commonly call the particular person, releases these ideas? Yeah. I think let's go a little bit slowly, sir. I want this to be clear that we are we are part of that stream. Yes, that is true. And when the body dies, the desires, the anxieties, the tragedies and the misery goes on. Part of the I die. Yes. And that stream, that river yes. is going on. Yes. Right, sir? Or do you reject this? I don't see how you can reject it. No rejection or acceptance. No, just wait, right? Yes. <coughs> only only yeah, waiting right, for the quite right. conclusion. So, that river manifests itself as cave. Not the whole river. The river, which is desire. <laughs> the desire river is there. One of its manifestations is K. The river manifests. Yes. Not one of the manifestations. 
But then how does... No, you are... Sorry, I made it a bit clear. The river manifests itself as K. Yes, that's right. That's that's agree. Mm. Then, river manifests also as R. Also... Ma- no! <coughs> river manifests itself as K. Yes. K has certain capacities by tradition, by education, so on, <coughs> to paint, to build a marvelous cathedral. But we are talking psychologically. Look, sir, let's make it, go back to it. The river is there, we agree. I don't know. What do you mean, sir, you don't know? I fully agree that all humanity, without exception, is what? All these, what you described as suffering and all that is common. Yes, that is. Humanity. That is. In that sense, all are equal, not no, all no, one. There is no equality or anything. We are of that stream. Yes, that's all right. <coughs> I am the representative of all mankind. Me, because I am of the stream. Well, that I don't know. It's a qualitative thing. Yeah. Qualitatively. What do you mean qualitative? When you say, I am of that stream, all the qualities of the stream are in me. Yes. It's a qualitative thing. Yes, that's right. All the qualities of that Not that I am the whole river. Yes. But the drop contains all the qualities of the river. Yes. But the river is that. Yes. The river is that. Would it be helpful to use the uh, example of a wave? The wave is no different from the rest of the ocean. Yes. But it manifests as a wave which disappears. That's right. Let's put it that way. But I want, this must be clear, we are, each one of us is the representative of all mankind. Because the representative is of that stream and mankind is of that stream. Therefore, each one of us is the representative of the whole of that stream. That is better. Uh, Yes. That's better. I mean, yes. Let's go. That stream manifests itself as K, or as, let's say, X, forget K, X, X manifests itself as X, with a form, name, but that stream also has this quality, which is, in that stream there is Oh, there is everything is in there. Not only X, there is Y. Oh? Not only X, there may be Y. Is well, just oh. X, Y, Z. Yes, that's right. Yes. That's well, what I want to make it clear. Oh yes, A, B, C, A. Yes, begin from there. That's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> so, as long as mankind is in that stream, and one manifestation of that stream leaves the stream for him he is completely free of that stream so you are not whole humanity because I, when you are uh, leave if you leave the river when I, you I leave know, no, I then whole humanity is I'm just a minute, sir, just a minute. As long as in that stream I'm manifested in X, and if in that manifestation, if X doesn't free himself completely from the stream, he's back in it. But, sir, this is the, the moment that the earlier question refers I'm to. Yes. That. What is that? You said there was nothing separate from the stream. Wait, 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 you haven't, haven't explained it. There is nothing. There is that stream, right? It 
manifests itself as A. In that manifestation, with all the educational, environmental influence and so on, if that A doesn't step out of that stream, there is no salvation for mankind. So what is there to step out? Leave, finish with your anxieties, sorrows, all the rest of it. But you said there was nothing except the content of the stream. As long as I remain in this stream. What is the I? As I is the thing that has manifested itself as A, and A now calls himself individual, which is, which is not factual, which is illusory. But when A dies, he is part of that stream. That's clear. A is composed of the water of the stream. Yes. How can the water of the stream step out of the stream? <laughs> oh, yes. So there is some logical error in, uh, in our... Uh, in my explanation, probably. Yes. The, uh, once you say this, that you are the representative of mankind, humanity, which is the... Ah, you must... Is that so or not? Yes. Uh, don't say yes, and in, in aren't, this, you, aren't you the representative of all of mankind, psychologically? Yes, sir, this, I think that is uh, uh, too general and uh, uh, too vague uh, statement. Oh, uh, no, I mean, it's not vague. I've made it very clear. That stream is this content of our consciousness, which is agony, pain, desire, strife, all that. That is common to all. Absolutely. In that sense, all humanity are equal. No, all, I don't all, want... All humanity is one in no, another way. I don't want... <laughs> yes, you in that sense. I, I, but I, I can't accept your attitude, your position, that I am humanity. No. Huh? That I don't of like. course, uh, if, if I accept that stream, I am part of the stream, therefore I am, I am like the rest of humanity. And like the rest? Huh? Like the rest? I said, and therefore representative of, all, of that stream. That also I accept. Uh, that's what I am saying. But uh, you can't say, I am the stream, whole stream. No, no, I, no, I am that stream. But, sir, uh, well, I know we were being literal, but there's a concept in this somewhere of a sort of a container which is contains I know, I the don't, Not container. I know. Not the ships that carry containers and all that. <laughs> no, no, don't bring a container. What, what is it that can separate itself from the stream if it is only made up of the water of the stream? Part, part of that stream is this egotistic concept. That's all. No, but what, what's, what can separate? What? What can, how can water divide itself from uh, the ocean? You are, you're missing my whole no, point. No, her point is this, which is that steps out of yes. Yes. the river. Uh, wait, that, wait, 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 that wait, yes. that's yes. difficult. That's if that is the answer. question, yes. if that is the question, I'll yes, answer sir. it presently. Yes. I'll answer it. I'm pretty good at this. <laughs> <laughs> I will be joking. Yes, and we understand it. <laughs> yes, <laughs> as a joke. I hope it will not be a joke. Uh, it's much too serious. Yes. You see, all this implies, when you ask a question, what is it that steps out? You are positing a, an otherness, something which is not of this tree, right? Or rather you are positing it. I am not. I am not positing anything at all. I have only stated what is actually happening. I won't posit anything. I have said as long as man 
does not step out of that stream, there is no salvation to mankind. That's all. So may I add a word here? I think the question which the lady asked implies an identifiable permanent entity. Oh, no, there is no permanent entity. No, no about no, what I'm a, suggesting is... It's something. I'm not making it more definite than that. I know what there you're trying to, to say. There has to be X, or I don't know what to call it. Is there some aspect of something intelligence? Some aspect of intelligence. Yeah, that's what... That can is, step out of the screen. Yeah. He's saying the same thing. Is there see? some aspect of intelligence? Yeah. Is there some aspect of intelligence call in the stream? Yeah. Which sees the... Which sees the... the yes. so and the, therefore steps out. It is the futility of this stream. Yeah. And it is, we're saying, you're saying it's part of the stream, that, that quality. It's in with all the other human things. Something is no, able just me. Just me. to separate itself uh, from the rest of the stream. A is part of that stream. Let's go step by step, if you don't mind. Then I've, we won't mislead each other. A is part of that stream. A has, that stream has manifested itself as A. So, A perceives his suffering. Obviously. Right? No? Yeah. His anxiety. He's living. And he says, why am I suffering? What is this? And so he begins to reason, begins to see. Why do you introduce some other fact? Well, can you then say that some uh, perception that is still part of the stream? I, no. Or some no. molecule? No. <laughs> I, uh, no. You are not listening, if you don't mind my may, point. May I add a word, sir? Yes, sir. According to Buddha's teaching, I, in that Three, there is also wisdom, ah, which no, sees. I know, no, I, I don't know what... Forget, no, I, I know, I do, because uh, uh, the, that, in that tree, which is called, in other words, it, it, in Buddhist uh, philosophy it is very well explained, as Mary puts the question, there is wisdom which sees the whole thing. It which is sees that... Huh? Which sees what? Whole, the whole. thing. Whole, real, whole thing, which, uh, the, the, the reality, which is the reality, which, which is as it is, as we discussed this morning. Uh, and then is the stepping out. That seeing is the stepping out. Are you saying that there is an action of stepping out without an actor? Yes. I'm, I'm, if you go with me, I'll explain it. I'll explain it, but you don't have to accept it. It'll be, I think it'll be logical, reasonable, and fairly safe. Unless I'm, one is completely besotted, this is, we can examine it. Okay, A is of that stream, with a name and a form. And as he lives, he realizes what he's going through. Right? In that realization, he, he says, I'm suffering. Then he begins to inquire into the whole nature of suffering and ends that suffering. I'm taking one aspect of this stream ends that suffering, and he is out of that stream. That entity is really unique, who is out of that stream. So it's, it's something there that wasn't there before, then? Huh? I'm good. The moment I realize, well, A realizes that he's suffering and doesn't escape, from that suffering, has any, has, enquires, explores without any motive and so on and so on, 
into the nature of suffering and has an insight into the whole structure of suffering, that very insight ends that suffering. That insight also in the street. <laughs> no, yes. You see, Mohan, you are positing so something I am not. What, from where are you bringing insight? I, no, I said I brought an insight in this way, very carefully. A realizes he is suffering. Suffering is part of that stream. A also is part of the stream. Yes, that stream has manifested itself in A. A living realizes he is suffering. He doesn't escape from it. Because he wants to know the whole nature of it, the nature and the structure, and the what is behind suffering. So he examines it, hmm? both logically, sanely, and also non-verbally. Looks into it, and the very looking into it is the insight. It's not of the street. The looking into the suffering, that looking in from where does it come? He's concerned. I said that. He's, he's studying, he's exploring, he's say, questioning the whole beastly thing. That, that, means it, it, that means it was not a part of the river. No. And you're, yes. Krishnaji, because we've been saying that something steps out of the river. Wait, I'm, no, and I'm, it seems I, won't that, even, I won't use that word, stepping up. No, and it seems now that what we're saying is that something comes into being which never was part of that river. Yes. yes. Well, and I that, said no. And I the said that is no. a... I will interpret. Let me... You follow me and see if I'm wrong. Then correct me. A is of that street. A is a says, why? He's not concerned what uh, the Greek teacher said. He said, I know all that. I pushes all that aside. What is why, why is there suffering? In the very inquiry of it, the inquiry depends on your in, um, capacity to put aside interpretation, not escape, and all the rest of it. In the very inquiry of, into the nature of suffering and the cause of it and the effect of it and so on, in that very inquiry is insight, comes insight. Insight isn't in the street. Right. I say it is in the street. Why, sir? That, uh, you see, it has. In itself, the capacity of producing and ceasing. The stream itself has the capacity of continuing and producing and ceasing it, stopping it. That insight also is part of the stream, just as all that misery and unhappiness no, we eat all. No, sir. No, sir, I wouldn't. And you, where did that uh, insight come from? I'm telling you, sir. That it is, you say A, A, A is part of the river, yeah. and then A, A, is, A is suffering. Suffering. He A is, begins to inquire. Inquire. A begins to wait. In no. his inquiry, he realizes inquiry can only exist when, he's, when there's complete freedom from all escape, suppression, and all the rest of it. Yes. So in the in that moment of inquiry, there is insight. When he doesn't escape, when he doesn't suppress, when he doesn't rationalize or seek the cause of something, in that very moment of examining, is insight. Uh, you are implying insight is born, it is not of the stream. Are you saying insight I, I is born? I don't introduce the... born, not of the stream. Then, 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 you see, you are, you are misleading. No, but the, the you question is. You want it part of that stream. Where does it come from inside then? I'm telling from you. Inquiry. From inquiry. From, from the freedom to inquire. Where, did the, where does that freedom to inquire come from? From his own examination. But he, he is the, part of the river. No, 
No. Uh, we're, are, are, are you we saying, the Krishna Ji, are we, are we saying this, that A, which is just a form and a name, normally is nothing more than a, a name and a form plus all that there is in the river. Yes. With free inquiry... And A begins to inquire. Right. A begins to inquire. And then A is no... If he has this insight... No, no. He has not the... Well, look, he is no longer part of just that river. You are... Scott, right. would you just follow step by step? A is part of that stream. A is the manifestation of that stream. A wave of that stream, whatever you like to call it. Now, A is going through an agony. A examines it. And the examination is very important because if he escapes, it is not examination, not exploration. If he suppresses, it is not. So he realizes, please follow this step by step, that as long as he is not free from uh, the blockages that prevent exploration, and therefore he puts them aside, he is free to inquire. And in that freedom is insight. So there is a missing link here. Uh, there may be ten, sir. Uh, it appears that what Narayan and Sir are saying, that if the person is the part of the stream, a representative of the stream, and when inquiry begins, examination starts, the freedom comes. Uh, to be inquire. careful, sir. No, you see, you are assuming so much. No, but I am repeating what you are saying. Yes, the link yes. I want okay. to show. You are repeating what I said, yes. right? And the the beginning of this, the beginning of inquiry, the beginning of the capacity to explore without any of the things of the stream. Are they also in the stream? No. Where do they come from? Sir, but, but that's very simple. So what are you all making fuss about? This. This beginning of the inquiry no, is no, the you, thing you which is you to be connected with this. You are not listening. Forget me, doctor. Forgive me, doctor. You are not listening. I said, A is the manifestation of that stream. Let's follow it step by step, sir. That stream is part of the stream is suffering. A is suffering. So A says, why? Why should I suffer? At this point I would interrupt you. This At is, any point. The, the stream, the, the number of human, the human beings in the stream, the question as to why should I suffer, this is the beginning of the whole thing. Uh, man, no. Man has asked why should I suffer? There are a dozen explanations. Uh, the Buddhist, the Hindu, the Christian, and so on, so on, so on. The man who is suffering says, I see all this. The Buddhist, the Hindu, the Christian, the Muslim, I reject all that because that doesn't lead me to freedom to inquire. I'm accept accepting traditional and authority. I hope. Now, sir, seeing the... Sir, perhaps could we put it this way, that the conditioned inquiry... Is part of the stream. Is part of the stream. That's the whole but point. But the free inquiry... Is the beginning of... Is oh. getting away from the stream. No, no, no. 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 You're, part of you're, the stream. Forget, look, Narayan, leave, leave the stream alone now, for God's sake. <laughs> I, A <laughs> is the manifestation of that stream. A suffering. A says, why am I suffering? Studies Buddhism, studies Hinduism, studies Christianity, and says, for God's sake, that's words and out. I'm going to find out myself. And he begins to inquire. And he realized he's, he, must, he, can, he can only 
explore if he is free to look. Right? Free from fear, free from reward and punishment, free from any kind of motive, otherwise he can't inquire. The moment he is in that state of examination, there is insight. This is very clear. And of course very difficult to do. I, that, no, I won't even give No, I won't accept the word difficult. At first, because otherwise we wouldn't be inquiring. No, because we are not given our energy to this. Oh, yes. We don't care. We, put up with so many things. So, leave, the, leave A alone. He's <laughs> but B is part of the three, and he suffers. He says, yes. That's my nature, that's human nature. There's no way out, no Jesus, no, nobody's going to save it. He says, well, I'll put up with it. So he, he, he's contributing, he's, a, he's mm, sl, uh, contributing to the stream. So the stream becomes more intense. Yes. More, more, has more volume. More drive also. Of course, more volume is <coughs> pressure of tremendous water. So, we come to the point, what is death? Now I want to pose another question. Now A is out of the river. Ah, no, sir. No, no, sir. Inside. A is not out of the river. But he has seen inside. He had insight. Insight. So, if all Wait, sir. one humanity, if the A is the humanity, then humanity has seen it. No, no sir, no, no sir. He saw it, he left humanity. He you are looking at it perhaps purely logically. No, even no, logically. I don't no, no, what I mean is logically, <laughs> but accepting the conditioned states. Moment. Uh, a is aware of his conditioned state and begins to inquire into it. There's, he has got the energy to, yes. to put aside. Yes, yes, uh, so, may, may, may I just... Now the Buddha himself said, put aside with right wisdom. You remember that phrase of the Buddha? What is that? Put aside all shape and form, all sensation, all uh, perceptions, all discriminative consciousness itself. That's what I say. Put it aside with right wisdom. That is what I tell you. Yes. That, is, that is what I said that uh, he is making so complicated. There, who? No, no. I, I, uh, yes. I, you are making, you're all making complicated. Mine is very simple. I won't help you. Uh, that, that is what I tell you. That is, uh, the, that is the statement, that is the idea. Yes. But I want to... Uh, uh, may I, may I interrupt here? One doesn't, say, one doesn't belong to any religion. One doesn't accept any account. That is to inquire. If I accepted yes. uh, what Christ or X, Y, Z, then it's no inquiry. So I... What a, a rejects in his inquiry into sorrow everything what anybody had said. Will you do that? But that was his second hand human being examining through second hand eyeglasses. Or you can hear somebody who 
pour ainsi dire. Yes, and I hear what the Buddha has said. Yes, you can Not hear it. Anybody has said. Said. And you also can see independently as he has seen. But, but yes, you, Buddha said sorrow is the beginning of whatever he said. Yes. Hmm? All right. But what he said is not my meal. Absolutely. That is so. No. That is, that is what I am telling you. But uh, you also can see the same thing as he has seen. Yes. And still you know what he has said also. But what? So the printed word or the hearsay to a hungry man has no meaning. That is so. Then reading the menu doesn't feed me. This is, that is what I'm telling you. It is not the menu, but the food. The food. The food does, is not cooked by anybody. I have to cook it, eat it. Uh, that is uh, not usually so. <laughs> because I, mean, you eat the food I said the eat. man who is examining the whole structure of sorrow, I should say the other way, that you have to eat to get rid of hunger. Just because you have eaten, my hunger will not disappear. No. You have prepared the food. You have eaten and there is food. I also can eat it. And it is my food. Do you deny that? Uh, no, of course not. Some, uh, somebody, this afternoon, you ate lunch, somebody cooked it. Yes. And I ate it. We ate it. Yes. But we are not talking at food level. We are saying that as long as I accept any authority, it doesn't matter who it is, there is no insult. It is not accepting authority. No. I mean, is, accepting is, descriptions, accepting uh, conclusions, uh, what Buddha said, what Krishna said, what A said, what, and all. I, to me, the freedom is from the known. Otherwise, I'm all everlasting living in the street. See, that's why, sir, either we discuss this factually and say, look, I will drop every authority I have. That means knowledge, tradition. Can we do that? Because that is inquiry. If if, you, if I if I am tethered to a tradition, I can't. I go round in circles. If I must be free of the post and the rope that ties me to the post. So, uh, B accepts suffering. Right, sir? B accepts what he is, conditioned, miserable, unhappy. Uh, you know what, human beings. So he's, he's all the time contributing to the stream. So there is no soul, no Atman, no ego, no permanent me that evolves. Then what would be inquiry would be, <coughs> what is the state, the mind of the man, of the human, who has has it had an insight into the whole nature of suffering and therefore the whole stream? Huh? Right? What is the nature of that mind? What's the quality? Right, sir? 
и сын Павел. Would that be speculative? It would. So what is the position of, of the person who has some insight or a partial insight still in there? <laughs> Like the scientist is a part of the insight. Surely you may be excellent in science, but confused and miserable and happy and ambitious and you know. Don't you think that the very term partial insight means a conditioned insight? Of course. And therefore it's part of that stream. And it's true to type I, generally. I wonder if we see this, sir. Or is it an image we are seeing? Because now we have created the image of the river. Yes, that's the unfortunate thing. Yeah. <laughs> so, can we use the word insight in the same sense as intelligence? Is there a difference? You see, now wait a minute, wait, let's go into that. The stream manifesting itself as being. And in his activities he becomes very cunning, clever. Now, he's not intelligence, has not intelligence, no relationship with cunning, cleverness, she came and all that, but it is essentially part of love and compassion. Hmm? What do you say, sir? The love in the stream is not love. You know, we are saying things which nobody will accept. If, uh, if B is in the stream and he tells his wife or his girlfriend or boyfriend, I love you, hmm? is that love? Well, as long as there is me, no, I'm there not, is no, no love. No, 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 love. no, don't reduce to me. B is of that stream. B says to his girlfriend or boyfriend, I love you. Love. Is that love? Uh, in which sense? Love. Love has many hundred meanings. So, so that's what I'm inquiring. Yes. The love of a book, the love of your particular soup, the love of poetry, the love of a beautiful thing. The love of uh, an ideal, the love of your country, the love of jealousy, which you, in which is included hate, envy, hurt, is all that, and question, explore, is all that love. And the man and the and be who is the manifestation, which says, yes, that is love. At least it's part of love. Or he says, love, you, without jealousy there is no love. I've heard these statements a dozen times before. Not only that, many people have asked me, without the idea of self, how can there be love? Yes, yes. That, that, there there are people who put that question also. She said, are we discussing verbally all this? Or realizing, seeing the stream is you, and say, look, exam, end it. And so, 
not being able to end it, or not, we invent time. I will one day step out of that street. So, thought invents evolution, psychological evolution. Could we also put it this way, thought invents uh, psychological development through time? Yes, sir. That's what I mean. Instead of what really belongs to the psychological sphere, namely the immediacy. That's right. The immediacy only takes place when there's insult. In that there's no regret, no say, I wish I hadn't done it. So our action is always at the time level. See, sir, what is immortality? What is eternity? What is the immeasurable? The whole talk of religions more or less touch on this. Even the metaphysicists and the logicians and the um, monks have gone into this. What is immortality? That is, uh, an author writes a good book, and he becomes immortal. His name becomes immortal. Or a politician, um, unfortunately, politicians last, endure. We have related immor immortality as something beyond death, mortal and Im immortal beyond mortality, beyond death. No? We That's are the saying, usual conception. Huh? That's the usual conception. Of course. What would you say of all this? So what happened to our question? Death. Rebirth? Yes, what happened to that? I've told you. The rebirth is this constant stream manifesting itself to A, B, C, down the alphabet. I know this is most uh, disappointing depressive, and I say, my God, I can't, this is too horrible, I won't listen to it. Are, are you also suggesting that, <coughs> therefore, death is part of that stream? <coughs> yes, body dies. By law, usage and wrong way of living, it dies, dies, inevitably. But I you see, sir, to find out what death is, one has to be with death. That means end. End my attachment, end one's attachments, one's beliefs, end to everything that one has collected. Now, nobody wants to do that. Definition of death would not be in the stream. What? That that action of death would not be part of the stream. No. Yeah. You see, and the man who is gone understood this. He, he doesn't think even in streams. So it's something entirely different. 
Oh, it's not a reward for the man in the street. <laughs> no, it's the, um, the action of the inside, is it not? It's the, it's the action of the inside. Action of inside, you cannot have insight if there is no love. Compassion, intelligence, that's a part of all that. And there, it's only then there is a relationship to truth. You seem to be suggesting in some way then that, that death is a death is a key. Yes, sir. Free and free investigation. Not the scientific investigation. The thinking tank, you know. But investigation into this whole myself which is me, that's true, myself is that's true, inquire into that, so that there isn't a shadow of the stream left. We don't do this because we are too learned, we have no time, we have no uh, we are too occupied with our own pleasures, our own worries. So we said, please, leave that to the priests, not for me. So have we answered the question? Is there reincarnation, a continuation of the me in different forms? I said, no. Of course not. Of course not. Ah, but yes, as you say, I also say there is no. First of all, there is no me. Ah, to be reborn, no, to be incarnate. The, man, the stream manifests and B says, I am I. Therefore, I am frightened to die. Yes. And therefore, he invents. Uh, uh, various comforting theories. He says, he prays, please save me and all the rest of it. But that stream, as long as B lives in that stream, as his consciousness is part of that stream, <coughs> there is no, he's only contributing more and more to the volume of to that water. Obviously, sir. So. If you accept, if you see that, so there is no me to continue. I think so. I know. I mean, this is nobody will accept accept this. But it's the truth. You would agree then that what is necessary is to see yes. in this. Profound see is that. Truly see. Yeah. And that truly seeing is real action, creative action. Is action. The moment I see, I draw anxiety. The moment I see I am petty minded, it's finished. It is it is a it is a complete transformation of the ordinary psychical process. Yes, yes. Isn't That's that really the crux in all this? And the place where people go wrong, so to speak. They do not see in the sense you're talking about. They see verbally, intellectually, on various levels, but they don't really see. No, no. I think mostly they're, they don't mind being sorrowful. But Paul said, well, why not? They don't see, one doesn't see one's own petty reactions. Say, yes, why not? Or they don't see that they don't see. Put it um, perhaps childishly. They don't realize that what they think is is understanding is not. No, Maria. <coughs> I mean, has not you personally? Has one dropped any opinion that one holds? One's prejudice completely. Or one 
one's experience? No. This, you're asking, you know, they say, please. They won't even listen to you. Do you mean some <coughs> a politician will listen to it? Or a priest? Or anybody who is absolutely caught in his own conclusion? Because there he is completely safe, completely secure. And you come and disturb me, he said. Either he worships you or kills you. This is the same. Or he sees that that security is a complete fabrication. It's, then he's, then he's, he drops his prejudices, his conclusions, his <coughs> even his knowledge. <coughs> For the man who has stepped out of the stream uh, and is no longer a manifestation of the stream, there is something else which is operating. Could, could we say something about the nature of that thing? Which is intelligence. Which is intelligence and which... Which, is, which intelligence is love. <coughs> intelligence is compassion. And from... Things, many things that you've said in the past, that seems to have an independent existence. Obviously. Even before it's, or without it manifesting in him. So, if A frees himself, not himself, <coughs> if A is no, his consciousness is no longer of this tree, his consciousness is entirely different. And it's a different dimension altogether. And that consciousness existed <coughs> before he stepped out of the stream, so to speak. Uh, uh, now you, you are speculating. Yes, I am. Uh, I won't play with you. <laughs> Perhaps it's another way to say it would be is there intelligence without the intelligent person? Oh? Is there intelligence without the intelligent person? I know what you're saying. That means, so wait, let's put it on the other way. War, wars have created a great deal of misery. And that misery remains in the air. Must. And the goodness has been also part of man, trying to be good. There's also that enormous reservoir of both. No? Yes. So. Very <coughs> one doesn't contribute to that goodness, but one is always contributing to this, to the other. Are you saying the other exists only in the human psyche, but goodness exists apart from humanity? No, I'll, let's put it down this way. There is not only B, A suffering, There is this whole suffering of mankind. Or more than mankind, but there's suffering. Can there's say? suffering, of course. We won't think so. Is this a word? It's a universal phenomenon. Huh? Suffering is a universal phen no. phenomenon. So would you kindly explain what is Buddhist meditation? Buddhist meditation.
meditation, the purest form of Buddhist meditation, it has taken many forms, many varieties, the purest form of Buddhist meditation is this insight into what is. <laughs> you are using my words, put those <laughs> no, words. No, no, not your words. You are using those words. <laughs> <laughs> Long before you, 2,500 years ago, <laughs> these words were used, I am using them. All right, then we're, yes. we are both 2,000 yes. years old. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Yes, and but uh, I'm, I'm ju- so I'm you just see, asking. it is called vidarshana or vipassana. In yes. Pali, vipassana, and in Sanskrit, vidarshana. Yes. yes, yes, is to insight vision. See into the nature of things. That is yeah. the real uh, what vision. Have, have they a system? Uh, system is, of course, developed. That's what I want to get Yes, uh, which, uh, when you take the original teaching of the Buddha... There is no system. No, it is Satipatthana. It is called Satipatthana. That is the, the best discourse by the Buddha on this insight meditation. No, I will tell you. Wait, wait, I, I'll tell you. Yes, there is no I'm system. There is no system in it. And the key point in that is the awareness. Awareness, that is called sati, or in Sanskrit, smriti. Smriti. <laughs> yes. And to be mindful, aware of all things that happens, it is, you are not expected to run away from life and live in a cave or in a forest, sit in, uh, like a statue, all that. It is not there. And uh, in the Satipatthana, that uh, uh, it is the, if you translate correctly, it is translated the establishment of mindfulness, but rather it is the presence of awareness. That is the meaning of the it word. Is this awareness? Yes. Aware, aware, yes, awareness of every movement, every action, everything. Yes. Yeah. Is this awareness to be cultivated? There is no question of cultivation. There is no question. So that's what I'm trying to get at. Yes. Because modern gurus, modern systems of meditation, modern Zen, you know, all the rest of it. And yes. They are trying to cultivate it. Yes, I I tell you, sir. I have written uh, an essay, it will be published in Belgium in order of uh, Monsignor Etienne Lamotte. Lamotte. Yes. On the psychology of Buddhist meditation. No, I'm uh, just wait, wait, wait. There I said that this teaching of the Buddha is for many centuries misunderstood and wrongly applied as a technique. And they have developed into such a technique that the mind can be, instead of liberating, it can be imprisoned. Of course, it, 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 all meditations are imprisoning. Yes. If it is made into a system, yeah, that's what. That, please, sir, I'm asking. Yes. Awareness, is it something to be cultivated in the sense, manipulated, b- watched over, worked at? No. No. Wait, wait. So, how does it come into being? There is no coming into being. You do it. No, wait, sir, no. Just listen. Yes. What I mean. Well, you I give the interpretation. I, I want to find out. I'm not. Yes. I'm not critical. Or I just want to find out what is Buddhist meditation is, because now there is Buddhist, there is Tibetan, there is various type of Buddhist meditation. Oh, yes. Various types of Tibetan All meditation. Buddhist meditation. Yeah. Various type of Hindu meditations, yes. Sufi meditation. God sake, we follow. Yes. They are like mushrooms all over the place. I'm just asking the, if awareness is something that takes place through concentration. Uh, no, not 
not in that sense. So, wait. For anything we do in this world, certain amount of concentration is necessary. Uh, that is yes. understood. Yes. No. Uh, uh, yes, yes, yes. In that sense, uh, a certain kind of concentration is necessary, but don't mix it up with the dhyana and samadhi. No, I'm not, I, I, yes. I don't like any of those words, personally. Yes, no, no. yes, but they are concentration is a principle. I know, I know. Yes. I know most of the meditations that have been propagated all over the world right. now it involves concentration. Is then Sin and uh, uh, various other things and uh, samadhis, jhanas, all Hindu, Buddhist uh, concentration is the same. same. No. I, that I nonsense. I, yes. do, I, I don't accept concentration. In the in this Buddhist pure Buddha teaching meditation, it is not that concentration. There is no that concentration. It's not concentration. Let's put it out. Yes. Then, what is this awareness? How does it come into being? You are aware of it. You are aware of what has happened. You are not a, no. And uh, uh, you, you see, uh, the, in the Satipatthana one great thing is that you live in the action, in the present moment. Wait, sir. Wait, sir. That is one more yes, Satipatthana. Yes, sir. It's a moment in the present moment. You don't live in the present moment. That is what it says, that you don't live in the present moment, and that Satipatthan is to live in the present moment. Ah, no, 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 you're missing. How is one to live in the present? What is the mind that lives in the present? The mind that lives in the present is the mind which is free from? Yes. Yes, yeah, yes, sir. Right. yes, sir. Go on, sir. I'm waiting. I want to find out. Free from the idea of self. Now you the I, when you have the idea of self, either you live in the past or in the future. Not the now, now is, as far as I one sees, not I, one sees generally, the past modifying itself in the present. And going on. That is the usual. But that is the present. No. Then what is the present? Free of the past. Yes. And ah, that, that is free of the past, which means free of time. So that is the only state of mind when it, which is now. I'm just asking, sir, what is awareness that does it come next? How does it flower? How does it happen? You there, follow? there is no technique for it. You know? There is no technique for it. I, I understand. I and want you uh, asking how it happens. Oh, is quite right. You are asking uh, the method. No, I, I'm using. Let's cut. A, I'm, I use the how. Just to ask a question, not for a method. I put it on the other way. In what manner does this awareness come into being? I'm not aware. Hmm? Suppose I'm not aware. I'm just enclosed in my own petty little worries, and anxieties, problems. I love you, you don't love me, and all that. No, no, going on in my mind. I live in that. And you come along and tell me, be aware of all that. Hmm? And I say, what do you mean by being aware? When you ask me that, yeah, I'm asking. Yes, be aware of that pettiness. Yes. So that that means, be aware. You said the pettiness. Yes, 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 yes. I, yes. I, I, I be love aware. and love and all Be that aware is. of your pettiness. Uh, what, what do you mean by that? To be, be aware of that. Yes, sir. I don't know how to be. I don't know what it means. It is not necessary to know what it means. Oh, what do you mean it's not necessary? 
Be aware of that. Yes, sir. You tell me, be aware. I'm blind. I think that's an elephant. How am I? You follow my questions? Yes, yes, yes. I am blind. And I want to see light. And you say, be aware of that light. I say, yes, what does it mean? It's not concentration. So I, so I say, look, awareness is something in which choice doesn't exist. It's a Awareness means to be aware of this form, the curtains, the lights, the people sitting here, the shape of the walls, the windows, to be aware of it. I just mean, either I'm aware one part, part by part by part, by, or as I enter the room, I'm aware of the whole thing, the room, the lights, the curtains, the shape of the Windows, the floor, the muffled roof, everything. Is that what you mean, sir? That also is a kind of awareness. Hmm? That also is awareness. That is awareness. Now, what is the difference? I'm not categorizing, yes. don't, please, I'm not being impudent or inquisitive or insulting. What is the difference between that? sense of awareness and attention. Uh, it is wrong to put sense of awareness. There awareness. Is sense of awareness. Well, right. There is awareness. That awareness and attention. See, we, we abolish concentration, except when I have to drill a hole in the wall, and yes, no, no, no. We, it it, we, have not, uh, we have not excluded it. Uh, uh, there is concentration, but that is not the main thing. No, that's not awareness. That's not. So we say. But concentration may be useful or helpful. To drill a hole straight. Yes, yes. Like that. That's or right. awareness also, it may be helpful, but it is not concentration the central part. And there must be a certain sense of concentration. If I have to learn mathematics. Yes. For anything. Yes, sir, that's any, yes. I, therefore I'm just putting that aside for the moment. What is attention? To attain. How do you explain now, for instance, awareness, mindfulness? Attention. How do you discriminate of this? I would say, yes, sir. Different, yes, I different. Say, yes. These three awareness, I, mindfulness, and attention. I would say attention, uh, awareness in which there is no choice. Right. Just to be aware. Moment you, when choice enters into awareness, it, it, there is no awareness. Right. And choice is measurement, division, and so on. Right. So awareness is without choice, just to be aware. Yes. Say, I don't like, I like this room. That's right. All that has ended. Yes. Right. Attention. To attend. In that attention, there is no division. Also, that means no choice. <laughs> leave, leave for yes, the moment. Yes. Attention implies no division. Me attending. And so, it has no it has no division, therefore no measurement, and therefore no border. In attention. In, a, in complete attention. Yes. 
in that sense it is equal to awareness. I'm, no, 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 why not? In awareness there may be a centre from which you are being aware. Even if there's no choice? No, no, <coughs> that is not awareness. Please be careful, I must go very slowly. You are making a distinction between awareness and atten attention. I want to. Are you saying attention is a deeper hmm. Much. Process is a deeper. totally different quality. One can be aware of what kind of dress you have. I may, one may say, well, I like it or don't like it. So a choice doesn't exist. You are wearing it, that's all. But, I, but attention – in that there is no attender, one who attends. And so, and so no division. In awareness also, you can say the same thing. There is no one who is aware. Uh, there is course. awareness. That's right. That's right. But yes. it has not the same quality as attention. Of course, as as we uh, discussed. But I don't want to go into these words. Well, so but, I, but, I the, but, but the Buddhist uh, Buddha's teaching of the Satipatthana is that in the Satipatthana practice, meditation, is that there is no discrimination. There is no value judgment, there is no like or dislike. Yes, sir, yes, sir. You only see as yes. it is, that's all. And what happens will happen ah, when you see. I, um, the, in that state of attention, what takes place? That is another explanation. No, no, no. I mean, not, not experience. What if you totally attend with your ears, with your eyes, with your body, with your nerves, with all your mind, with your heart, in the sense, affection, love, total attention, what takes place? Of course, uh, what takes place is an absolute revolution, internal, and a no, complete no, revolution. No, no, I am, uh, no, what? What, have, what is the state of such a mind that is completely attentive? <coughs> it's free of the stream. Huh? Of course, that will finish. But that is, uh, stream well, is dry now. <laughs> that stream is dry now. Don't talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> it is desert now. <laughs> I, I'm asking, what is the quality of the mind that is so superior? Extremely attentive. Compassionate. See, it has no quality. But it has no quality, no centre, no uh, and uh, having no centre, no border. And uh, this is an actuality. You can't just imagine. And that means, has one ever given such complete attention to someone? Is there any object in that attention? Huh? Is there any object? Of course not. Object in the sense of uh, subject and object. Any subject and object. object. Yes, yes. Obviously. Yes. Yes. Because there is no, you see, there is no division. You try it. Do it, sir. Once do it. Give but I mean, I mean, not merely, not merely physical object, but any phenomenal object such as any object such as such as sorrow or yes, give all the give give complete <coughs> attention if you care to what you say for me. I tell you. Meditation is the meditator. That is right. 
There is no meditation. Uh, big, 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 big. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. That's right. I say, meditation is the meditator. Give your complete attention to that. And see what happens. That's a statement you hear. You don't make an abstraction of it into an idea, but you just hear that statement. It has a quality of truth, it has a quality of great beauty, it has a sense of absoluteness about it. Now, give your whole attention to it and see what happens. I think uh, Buddhist meditation, Satipatthana, is that. I don't understand. Yes, I know I, Satipatthana. I'll accept your word for it, but I don't know. Yes, and uh, I think it is not, uh, uh, I mean, it will not be misleading to accept my opinion of Satipatthana. No, no, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not saying it's leading of okay. I and, don't know. Uh, uh, Satipatthana is that. Yes. Satipatthana. No, Real Satipatthana meditation is that. Now, if you ask people who practice it, and there are many meditation centers, I oh. openly say they are, they are misleading. Of course, they are not. I have openly written and Yes, sir, that is not. Yes. Because the, the, when you asked how it attained, I said that presupposes no, a method, no, a no. technique. I am saying, I am asking. Can one give such attention you are asking whether it is possible yes is it possible and will you give such attention not you sir yes I'm asking question which means do we ever attain So, when you say, can, can one attend? Yeah, will you attend? Put that, it in ah, the that's it. Yes, quite. That makes it. Of yeah, course. Will, not exercising will to attend. No, 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 quite. Will you? He said, you know, will, how will you respond? Spontaneously, oh, yes. naturally. Will do it. Do it. That's it. If that attention is not there, truth cannot exist. Father, you, I don't think it is correct to say truth cannot exist. Truth exists. Truth ah. cannot be seen. Ah, I don't. Truth may. I don't know. You say truth exists, but I don't know. Yes, that doesn't mean truth does not exist. I, I don't know, I said. Yes, that's, that's correct. I mean, uh, Jesus said, Father in heaven. I don't know the Father. <laughs> yes, that's true. It may exist, but I don't know. So I don't accept. <laughs> no, I'm not accepting all the, I don't think it is correct to say, uh, without that attention, truth does not exist. Ah, I said, Without that attention, truth cannot come into being. Uh, oh, no, there I is no truth coming into being. No, of no, course. That I, also is. I let me put it. Yes. All right. That is wrong. Without that attention, the word truth has no meaning. 
that will be better. I have said that, sir. That is better. That is better. We have talked for an hour and three quarters, sir. I don't know when your bus or train or... I think we will now. Yes, sir. We better stop. Yes, and uh, I think on behalf of everybody, and... Uh, no. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, not you. I thank all these people. All right, sir. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs>